This is Dr. Stanley Kim, the hematologist in Claremont, California. Today, we will discuss multiple myeloma. I remember a patient who came to the hospital many years ago with a severe pain because she had anemia and her serum protein level was high. I suspected multiple myeloma. Immediately, I did a bone marrow biopsy and took the slide down to the laboratory, stained it and reviewed it in the microscope. Boom, there were many, many plasma cells. Even before I had an official pathology report, I started treatment because she was such in pain. Dramatically, she improved and was able to go home several days later. This story tells you that how much you can help the patients. Let's discuss more in detail. Thank you for watching. Multiple myeloma is a blood cancer caused by uncontrolled proliferation of clonal plasma cells in the bone marrow, occurring more commonly in the elderly people. Plasma cells produce antibodies, which are immunoglobulin, IgA, IgD, E, G, M. Immunoglobulin is composed of heavy chains and the light chains. Please look at the uh, picture. Heavy chains and the light chain linked by the disulfide bonds. Light chain has uh, two types, either kappa or a lambda chain. The immunoglobin produced by myeloma cells are abnormal, it's non-functional, called as M protein or monoclonal protein. Because there are five isotypes of immunoglobulins determined by the heavy chains and the two kinds of light chains, you can make the combination of 10 kinds of immunoglobulins like IgA kappa, IgA lambda, IgG kappa, IgG lambda. Among these, IgG is the most abundantly produced immunoglobulin followed by IgA. What about the multiple myeloma? Yes, they are plasma cells produce the same kind of uh, uh, immunoglobulin. For example, these myeloma cells produce IgG kappa, or this guy produced IgG lambda. Normally, uh, uh, plasma cells don't produce the uh, plus, uh, light chains alone, but neoplastic myeloma cells can produce light chains only. Uh, we call it light chain myeloma, comprising about 15 to 20 percent of all multiple myeloma. Sometimes these myeloma cells produce the immunoglobulins but cannot release it to the uh, uh, bloodstream and we call it oligo or non-secretory myeloma. We don't know the cause of multiple myeloma but we know multiple myeloma starts from MGUS. MGUS stands for monoclonal gammopathy of undetermined significance. It's a pre-malignant condition eventually progressed to multiple myeloma. In MGUS, the number of neoplastic plasma cells in the bone marrow are less than uh, multiple myeloma, of course. So are the amount of M protein. There are no symptoms or signs. Smoldering myeloma is the transitional state between MGUS and the multiple myeloma. MGUS transforms into multiple myeloma at the rate of 1% of year. Smoldering myeloma progresses to multiple myeloma at the rate of 10% a year. All these disease conditions involving plasma cells are called plasma cell dyscrasia. The acronym CREB is best describing the symptoms and signs of multiple myeloma. C stands for calcium. A patient develops high calcium due to myeloma cells chewing up bone, releasing calcium into the bloodstream. R stands for renal failure occurring in 50% of patients due to M protein, especially light chains are lepro-toxic. Myeloma cast nephropathy or nephrocosmosis from hypercalcemia can develop. AL amyloidosis can occur from the amult myeloma resulting in nephrotic syndrome. A stands for anemia, but thrombocytopenia is rare. B stands for bone abnormalities. Bone pain is the most common symptoms of mild myeloma occurring in 70% of patients. Characteristically, x-ray will show bone lytic lesions, but osteoporosis pathologic fracture can be seen. Due to, it's due to overexpression of rank L receptor of bone stroma, leading to activation of osteoclasts. Infection is common due to hypogamma globulinemia. Uh, myeloma cancer cells interfere normal plasma cells producing normal gamma globulin mostly uh, uh, due to streptococcus pneumonia and the gram-negative bacteria. Hyperviscosity syndrome is a, is a medical emergency when the patients 
have a very high M protein raising the serum viscosity over 4 CP, patients can develop bleeding, headache, dizzy, uh, in severe case, seizure and coma. You need to have an emergency uh, plasma pheresis. Spinal cord compression due to pathological fracture is also a medical emergency. Herpes rapid is rare, but it can, it can be due to AL amyloidosis. Laboratory tests include serum protein electrophoresis measuring M protein. 3 grams, 2 grams. Immunofixation determines the subtype of M protein. Is it IgG kappa or IgG, IgA lambda? Free light chain assay measures the uh, kappa and the lambda light chains. 24 hour urine protein electrophoresis measures the amount of light chains in the urine called Benz Jones protein. You know, heavy chain cannot be filtered out by kidney into the urine, but light chains and the albumin can. Frequently, patients develop hypogamma globulinemia, increase the risk of infection. So, by checking the uh, immunoglobulin panel, you can find out uh, the level of normal immunoglobulins. Light chain myeloma comprises 15 to 20 percent of all myeloma. Because the light chains are all protein the uh, light chain myeloma produces, uh, there is no M protein in serum protein electrophoresis. So, you have to measure the serum free light chains. Also, the urine uh, will show the uh, light chains. About 3% of myeloma are the uh, non-secretory secretory myeloma. Myeloma uh, cells produce the immunoglobulin, but they cannot excrete into the bloodstream. So all this serum, urine, protein, electrophoresis, light chain immunofixation will be negative. So you need to have a bone marrow examination to find out what's going on. Regular urinalysis cannot uh, uh, detect the uh, light chains, but the uh, albumin. For staging purposes, beta-2 microglobulin and LDH levels are uh, checked. The M protein is shown as a spike in the uh, serum protein electrophoresis. Look at this M spike. The normal uh, electrophoresis is kind of round, gentle uh, slope. I'd like to show you a purple blood smear slide of uh, one of my patients with multiple myeloma. Uh, red blood cells form Roulet's formation. The red blood cells are staking on each other, uh, uh, forming a, a shape of a uh, vertebral spine due to a uh, uh, high uh, M protein, making the uh, blood very sticky and thick. You can see uh, many of this. For the bone marrow biopsy, we use the posterior superior iliac spine. This is a bone marrow slide. Uh, these are uh, myeloma cells. We send the uh, bone marrow specimen to the laboratory for uh, flow cytometry, cytogenetics, and the FISH test. Flow cytometry confirms the uh, presence of monoclonal plasma cells and the uh, kappa and the lambda light chains. Cytogenetics can detect the uh, chromosomal abnormalities. But the FISH test is more sensitive than cytogenetics in uh, detecting the uh, genetic abnormalities, uh, especially deletion of 17P, translocation 414, translocation 1416, translocation 1420s are unfavorable pronostic uh, signs. Please look at this characteristic lytic bone lesions seen in the uh, simple x-ray bone survey. Look at here. But the International Myeloma Working Groups recommend the uh, whole body CT scan instead of a uh, simple bone x-ray because it's a lot more sensitive. And uh, uh, if the uh, myeloma is truly suspected, uh, you may have to do the uh, whole body MRI scan. And this is the uh, picture of the uh, low-dose whole-body CT scan. Plasma cytoma is a plasma cell tumor growing in the soft tissue or bone. There are several kinds. Solitary plasma cytoma of bone is just simple single lytic bone lesions. Normal bone marrow biopsy uh, and the serum protein electroporous will show no M protein or very little small M protein. There are no symptoms and signs. Extra medullary plasma cytoma is the same as solitary plasma cytoma of bone, except the location is in the soft tissue, mostly in the upper respiratory mucosa causing nasal congestion, 
nose bleeding, or palpable lump. To confirm the diagnosis, biopsy is necessary. For diagnosis, we follow International Myeloma Working Group recommendation. Bone marrow should show the uh, plasma cells comprising over 10% of all uh, bone marrow cells or presence of plasma cytoma, plus any one of the myeloma defining events, including CREP, high calcium, renal failure, anemia, and the bone lesions. When the bone survey or a whole body CT scans are negative, you have to do the whole body MRI scan. If it shows there are more than two focal lesions, then uh, it belongs to the uh, myeloma defining events like a CREP. If they don't have any of the symptoms, but if they have uh, lots of plasma cells in the bone marrow comprising over 60%, you make a diagnosis of multiple myeloma. Likewise, if the serum uh, light chain ratio is over 100, you make a diagnosis of uh, multiple myeloma because those patients uh, in 80% of time uh, develop the uh, multiple myeloma in two years. For MGUS criteria, yes, it's uh, not as not like a multiple myeloma. Bone marrow plasma cells are less than 10%, and the M proteins are less than 3 grams. And uh, there is no myeloma-defining events like uh, uh, Krebs or no my amyloidosis. Smoldering myeloma criteria is the uh, in between this myeloma and uh, MGUS. There are three stages. Stage one, the medium oval survival at five years, 82%. Patient has a beta-2 microglobulin less than three grams and the albumin over 3.5 grams. Normal LDH, and there are no uh, chromosomal abnormalities, including no deletion of 17P, no translocation 414, no translocation of 41416. In stage two, the survival is 62% uh, at five years. In stage three, the survival is 40% uh, at five years. The beta-2 microglobulin is over 5.5 gram plus high LDH and or chromosomal abnormalities like this. Multiple myeloma is considered not curable, though the prognosis has improved significantly. However, 14% of patients survive over 20%. Light chain myeloma has a little bit more uh, worse or prognosis over survival at five years is 25%. Waldenstrom macroglobulinemia is often confused with the IgM myeloma because the cells produce IgM M protein. It's also called the lymphoplasmacytic lymphoma. It behaves more like indolent lymphoma has a better prognosis than IgM myeloma, but there are differences. Uh, Bone lesions and the renal failures are rare, but enlarged lymph nodes, spleen, or liver, and the neuropathies are more common in the uh, Waldenstrom macroglobulinemia. Hyperviscosity syndrome is more common in Waldenstrom macroglobulinemia, especially when the IgM M protein level is over 6 gram and the uh, serum protein viscos serum viscosity is over 4.0 CP. It's a medical emergency requiring urgent plasmapheresis. For the treatment, we use the rituxan with the, uh, some chemotherapy like the cytoxin and the dexamethasone. If it doesn't work, then we use the uh, uh, ibrutrim. It has some more toxicity like atrial fibrillation and the liver toxicity. Patients with the MGUS or smoldering myeloma don't need a treatment because they don't have any symptoms of a sign. But multi-myeloma patients require immediate therapy. Because the treatment of multiple myeloma is a large subject, I will discuss in a, uh, a separate video presentation. So the, uh, I'm discussing uh, multiple myeloma treatment much more in detail. So please click this link. Thank you for watching.